everyone, Dr. Nelson here. This is a lesson on how to multiply numbers written in scientific notation. All right, so the first page, uh, what I want you to do is I want you to copy down the notes that we're gonna, we're gonna do together. And then there'll be a few problems for you to try on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so take a look at example number one. Here we have 4.2 times 10 to the fifth times 2.1 times 10 to the third. And what you can do is you, you're allowed to rearrange these numbers because we're, we're all we're doing is multiplying. So I'm gonna use the commutative property to rewrite this as 4.2 times 2.1 times 10 to the fifth and then times 10 to the third power, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply 10 to the fifth times 10 to the third. And because we have like bases, right? We, remember, we add the exponents. So that's gonna be 10 to the eighth. And then when I do 4.2 times 2.1, that gives me 8.82. And then 8.82 times 10 to the eighth can be our answer. Or we could write it in standard form. And when we do that, it's gonna be 882 million. All right, and again, the way I did that is I multiplied 8.82 times 10 to the eighth, which means I had to move the decimal eight spots to the right. So when I did that, uh, it resulted in 882 million. All right, the second problem, notice we have uh, 320,000 written in standard form, and then 4.1 times 10 to the fourth written in scientific notation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first convert the 320,000 into scientific notation. So that one's gonna be 3.2 times 10 to the fifth power, all right? Now I'm gonna rearrange these. So it's gonna be 3.2 times 4.1 times 10 to the fifth times 10 to the fourth all right, now when I simplify this, 10 to the fifth times 10 to the fourth gives us 10 to the ninth power. And when I multiply 3.2 times 4.1, I get 13 and 12 hundredths. Now we're not quite done, because think about it. Remember, scientific notation, this number has to be greater than or equal to one or less than 10. So unfortunately, it's not there yet, right? So in order to do that, I'm going to move this decimal one spot to the left, making that smaller. Now, because I made that smaller, I'm going to make this one larger. So our answer is going to be 1.312 times 10 to the 10th power. And there it is. All right, for number three, we have uh, 45 million times 20,000. All right, now again, you could you know, multiply these out and there'll be a ton of zeros and, and the odds of making a mistake are pretty high. But the power of scientific notation allows us to basically convert these into scientific notation and then use the properties of exponents to multiply them. So I'm gonna convert 45 million into scientific notation, which is gonna be 4.5 times 10 to the seventh power and then 20,000 is gonna be two times 10 to the fourth power. I'm gonna put these in parentheses. All right, now 10 to the seventh times 10 to the fourth gives us 10 to the 11th power. And then 4.5 times two gives us nine. And there's our answer, nine times 10 to the 11th power. Okay. Now, if I want to, I could write this out in standard form, where it's 9 plus 11 more zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. All right. But this is this so much easier just to write down. All right. So now it's your turn. So I want you to turn the page and try these problems on your own. And then when you're done, um, you can see how you did. All right. Good luck.
All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these problems, okay? So when you first multiply 3.1 times 2.8, that would give you 8.68. And then times, and then when you multiplied 10 to the fourth power times 10 to the eighth power, that would give you 10 to the 12th power. And that's written in scientific notation, so you're all set. All right, number two, you had to first convert 26,000 into scientific notation. So that would be 2.6 times 10 to the fourth power. All right, now when you did 2.6 times 5.1, that will give you a amount of 13.26. And then when you multiplied 10 to the fourth, times 10 to the fifth, that gives you 10 to the ninth. But we're not quite done yet because this is not written in scientific notation. Because notice, this number here, right, is greater than 10, right? So we need to divide this one by 10. And then when I do that, I'm gonna increase this one by one to make it a 10. So it's gonna be 1.326 times 10 to the 10th power. That's number two. And then number three, we have three numbers that are not written in scientific notation. So I'm going to convert each one first. So 20,000 is going to be 2 times 10 to the fourth power. 15,000 is going to be 1.5 times 10 to the fourth power. And then 3,500 is going to be 3.5 times 10 to the third power. Now, when I multiply 2 times 1.5 times 3.5, I get 10.5 times. Now, 10 to the fourth times 10 to the fourth times 10 to the third gives us 10 to the 11th power. But again, notice this number is too big, right? So I'm going to have to divide this one by 10, which means I'm going to increase this one by 1, which means our answer is going to be 1.05 times 10 to the 12th power. All right, how'd you do?